Alright guys, today is wash day and it's also color day here. For my wash day, I'm going to be co-washing day. But for color, I have grown tired of using semi-permanent hair color here. So I have decided to... Sorry if my hair looks a hot mess by the way, but that's usually how it looks when I'm getting ready to wash it. But for color, I decided to use a permanent hair color. And for those who don't know, I am a big fan of Silk Elements hair color here. I mean, I use the semi-permanent hair color, so why not? So I decided to go to Sally's Beauty Supply and pick up a box of the Silk Elements permanent hair color system. So this is what the box itself looks like. It comes in a few colors here. But if you don't know, I have actually done this already when I was living in a dorm and I think this was like late 2013-2014 but the only camera I had was my smartphone and the quality wasn't really that good good so I decided to go ahead and do like an updated version of how I apply this color because I really really like this permanent hair color system now <coughs> excuse me when I went there they had only one box of the dazzling auburn left and several boxes of honey blonde I decided to change things up a bit and go with the honey blonde color because I want to see how it looks on my hair considering the way that my hair looks. So this is pretty much what the box itself looks like and yes it does come with some contents here typical stuff that you find in a box hair color so let's just pull that out for now get everything out. Oh, by the way, this is what the box itself looks like on the back, and it shows you what the color might possibly look like depending on the kind of hair that you had before. So make sure you pay attention to that. So for starters, you got the developer cream. Also, you get the bottle where you can mix the hair color, color concoction in, and apply to your hair if you like the bottle technique like I do. Let me see here. You got the pre-color treatment here that you can also mix with the developer. Or you can apply it to your hair and scalp as a pre-treatment before you actually mix the color and then apply it to your hair. You got the color cream. You cannot use this by itself. It needs to be mixed with a developer. But this is what it looks like. It's a metal tube. You got the moisturizing conditioner that you use afterwards after you rinse the hair color out of your hair. The instructions. Nothing more needs to be said about these. And of course you got these gloves that came with the instructions. Now I'm not going to use these gloves today because I have my own set of gloves where it's a one size fits all. So these I'm going to be saving these for later. So for now, so I'm really kind of tired of rambling and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this, this wash day and this color day all done with. So let's head into that bathroom and let me show you how I apply the color and how I fix it up. All right. I'll see you in the bathroom.
All right, guys, I just got done rinsing out the hair color, and I'm really kind of worried about this one, okay? I don't know if you've noticed or if the camera's picking it up, but if you look on the spots where my roots have been growing in, you can see, you can see a difference. You can see that the color did something. You can see it, and I can see it too, because I'm looking in the mirror here, and yeah you can see somewhat of a difference but not much and I also noticed that the um hold this right let me see okay I don't even know but the ends the tips of my hair don't seem to be affected as much they're still kind of um of uh like grayish but not to the point where it's noticeable so in short this color was good but not what I kind of expected so quite honestly I should have went with the um I should have went with dazzling auburn so next time the next time I color my hair I will be sure to go darker but this is pretty much what my hair looks like so I guess I'll try to work with it, I guess. I don't know, but if I can't, I'll probably put another dark color on top of it. I'll try not to double process it because I don't want my hair to be severely damaged. So that's pretty much it for my little tutorial on how I use the hair color. So thank you for watching, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Okay, guys? See you later.